Ready? Okay. <laughs> be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> oh, no. Chris. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Oh, Show me your spirit stick. Oh, I love your pom pom. Oh, yes. Oh, oh you're my number one. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. oh. You like that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. What's your name? Mm. Oh, Chris. Who's your oh, name? Oh, you score like a quarterback. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, yeah, just, ooh, oh, oh, yes. oh, yeah, right there, oh, right there. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, easy, baby, watch the fangs. Let's not be jerky. Pigs in a blanket, baby. Oh, yeah, Mama, stick that pig in the blanket. You want the little piggies in the blanket? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Oh, who's your daddy? Yeah. Oh, is it rich oh, like me? Oh, suck my big fat hog. Ah! Oh, 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 Chris, dear, were you dreaming about breakfast? Oh, oh, oh sweetie, you're boiling up with sweat. Your sheets are soaking wet, huh? Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Mother! Mom! Mom! Look! A big giant spider! Ah! Oh, oh, what? Spider? Oh, honey, I don't see anything over there. Chris, are you okay? Your penis is purple. Mom! You can't look at that! Sweetheart, please, I'm your mother. I've seen your penis plenty of times. Of course, I've never seen it so lumpy and purple. Maybe you broke it when you fell off the bed. I think I should call somebody. Mom, leave. I didn't break anything. I think I would know. Just go. I can't just leave. You've broken or chipped your Mr. Penis puppet. Now let Mommy look at it again. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Huh. What in tarnation are those red bumps on your back? Oh, Jesus, please strike me with lightning. What's up with the retard? Your brother may have broken his penis. No way. Okay, emergency's over. Everyone out. Dude, you totally spooched instant pudding in your own bed. <laughs> and you're still sporting major one. <laughs> now with the bat, Mark McGuire. McGuire. I will kill you. If not today, I will hunt you down. You'll be very much dead. Mom! This is unbelievable. I don't even know how to tell first. Thank God for email. Daddy, leave him alone. Now, he's not well. Let's go. Honey, what's spooged? 6 a.m., the clock is ringing. I need to spend an hour snoozing. Cause I don't think I'm gonna make it. I punch in. I'm still sleeping. Watch the clock. But it's not moving. Cause every day is now. Young man. Young man, you planning on taking the motorcycle this morning? It's a, uh, it's a... Are you, yes or no? Yes, sir, but it's a... Uh... Helmet! No buts about it. It's for your own safety, dear. Hundreds of thousands of people are here crack their skulls like ripe melons riding their motorcycles. Your mother's right. The statistics don't lie. Helmet or no motorcycle. End of discussion. Looking good, baby. Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to beat the girls off you with a stick.
school. Sissy. Hey, 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 fellas, come on, citizens rest, okay? Are you okay, little boy? Are you okay, little fella? All right. Don't touch me! Okay, leave me alone. Okay, watch your face, watch your face. No, no, not here, not here. No, 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 you don't think double D's. Okay, right again. But look, if I ever make it out of Xenia and find myself writing for a paper rather than throwing one, I'm sure this little pep talk will have additional meaning. But if you just give my article a quick read, I'm sure... Wait, look, no. I have a paper to write, okay? I have a circulation department that counts on me to deliver them the goods day in, day out. I mean, if I deviate from that once, just once, the entire ecosystem collapses... Okay, here. it's I mean... not a job. Being the editor of the Xenia Porcupine Herald is an extracurricular activity. You know, you should lighten up. Start having some fun. Oh! 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 Are you okay? Yeah. 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 Oh, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah. Eighth graders getting pretty consistent. <laughs> okay. Well, moving on. Um, I was wondering um, if it would. Well, well, if it would make sense. Um, if we went to the. Uh, Spring fling. S spring fling? Together. <laughs> well, I mean, not like as a date <laughs> or anything. <laughs> no. Um, no. We could do double coverage there. Who's wearing what? Um, who's dating whom? Who's hooking up with whom whilst wanting to be dating someone spring else? Fling, spring fling. fling. Look, I was already planning to ask someone as a date. But thanks, you know, I'm sure it would have been fun. Hey, I mean, no problem. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just, uh, I assumed that you were flying solo, so. <laughs> no, this will actually um, work out much better for me. Because I am terrible at uh, picking out Boutonnieres. Okay. Well, good chat. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna vomit again. What happened to you? Aaron happened. I did everything you told me to. I stood tall, shoulders back, fluffed my package, and in she walks. A vision. I'm feeling the vibe. I get ready to ask her to the big dance, then bam! I start chasing my mom's Yankee pot roast from like two nights ago. I get it, okay? Did you, did you puke on her? No, no way. I think I hit it from her really well. See, I turned and I pretended that I was gonna cough, and I caught it in my hand just since I was going to the bathroom. M most of it, most of it. Yeah, she probably just thought I was nervous or something, you know. Shy. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Looking for Zine? That's the one that totally threw up all over himself in front of Aaron. Afterwards, she started to cry and had to go home sick. Oh, oh you can still smell it on him. Yeah. Well, what about you, huh? Today's a big day. Brittany Van Horn, Brittany smoking Van Horn. Yeah, I don't think I can go through with this. Shut your mouth! Brittany has made your ass that which is hot. Three different gynecologists have proposed marriage to her. They're doctors they know good ass. I'm afraid to ask her to the dance. Afraid? Afraid of what? That she might laugh in your pimply face? That the other popular kids might mock and ostracize you like that spooky girl with warts last year? <laughs> Guys like us are immune to those daily rituals. Five, six, and a bit. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. 
Okay, Jenny. Uh, yeah, okay, so we go back and you invert the fraction and you multiply it by pi r squared and you add a little to uh, the circumference of the with me to spring fling. <laughs> it was harsh. Even Mr. Torkenbush started laughing. You know, why don't you even ask her out, huh? Why? Why? You know, this is your fault. You're the one who made me. This sort of thing happens all the time, man. To who? Well, to you. That's one and me. Me. Does it concern you? that our memories of our time spent in high school suck. Does it bother you that in the future, when people refer to the losers they went to high school with, they will be in fact referring to us? Chris? High school is about what you learn. For instance, I learned you can keep puking on yourself long after you think you're done. Same with diarrhea. What are you talking about? I am serious, Adam. This is supposed to be it the time of our lives, and it's not. It's not even the half time of our lives. You know, who are we? What do we stand for? You know, how will we be remembered and defined post-graduation? Oh, cool, tater tots. <laughs> Hello, ladies. It's a big day for the home team. Adam threw up on Aaron, and Chrissy shot his wad in history oh, class. I didn't throw up directly on her. <laughs> Mostly on my hand. And it was algebra. Not history. Well, that changes everything. Hurrah, we really are the popular kids <laughs> now. I didn't know we had a mind. Assholes! I thought we voted on God! What the hell are you wearing? It's God! <laughs> I'm God! You look like a pale, hairy, ugly chick, man. Is that your mother's makeup? But, Pirate, what gives? Last week, the meeting? Jenga, hello, is anyone home? We just think we talked about dressing goth so that we might get a bit more of an identity by the end of the year. Yeah, shift the brains. We talked about it, we didn't vote. Actually, no, we didn't even talk about it. Murphy talked about it. We ignored him. Okay, fine. Let's get it on right now, all right? Let's rock the vote. All those in favor of dressing goth, <sighs> yeah, raise your hands, raise them hard. <clears throat> so, Chrissy, are the rents still going out of town this weekend? Righteous. Clock says quarter till pot ten. Hudson Reed. Does everyone else see them walking slow? He has spent his whole life coming in first place. And I spent mine as runner-up. Whatever change? You know, maybe I was popular in a past life. Maybe in some parallel universe. I'm Hudson Reed, and he's me. Yeah, yeah, like in an altered time continuum. When is it my turn to be a Hudson? Hey, you guys up for a trading session? What are you doing? Not here, damn it. Never here. All right, that is it. I'm getting sick and tired of this. We are not losers. You know, I bet you at other schools, we would be the cool guys. I am not about to graduate on a whimper. I'm going out with a bang. You thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. 
Let me tell you this. Chris Hughes is going to have the mother of all high school parties. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The grandmother of all high school parties. <laughs> all right. Oh. I mean, one small problem, Puffy. A cool party requires alcohol. Now, for us, it would require huge quantities of alcohol. Boys, while we're away, Chris, you're in charge of the store. And no monkey business. <laughs> proud of you, dude. The way you grab this party thing by the balls. I mean, look at you. Stealing the rent to alcohol just to further our popularity. This is so decent of you, man. Thanks. You've done a real bang-up job of clearing up my conscience. Now, will you help me start filling these jugs? <laughs> Are you crazy? You're not going to jail just because you want to be popular for a day? Alcohol of fame. Booze, booze, and more free booze. Party like it's still 1999. Come enjoy free booze and free food at Chris Hughes' house. It's free. How many flyers did you give to people? I don't know. Maybe a thousand. A thousand? No, no, no. We can't have a thousand, okay? I can definitely get grounded for a thousand. We should cancel. Yep, cancel. We are canceling. No more. Holy shit, chicks! Hey, Brittany. Brittany's friends. OTR. On the rag. Inventory. <laughs> New sample. It's pre-washed. You hipsters going to the bash tonight? <laughs> <laughs> There's no the bash tonight. Trust me, I would have heard that long before you would. Murphy, educate the ladies. Who's Chris Huggies? Chris Hughes. And that's me. Your name's Chris? Uh, you kids are gonna wanna get there early. We're expecting overflow by uh, nine. Well, is there gonna be liquor? Which part of free booze on the flyer did you not understand? Are you talking to me? No. We're outie. Grab me a pack of cigarettes. So you'll stop by the party? Get jiggy with it? Jiggy. Party. Right. <laughs> Later, sure. Did you say jiggy? Yeah. <laughs> score, she'll definitely be there, man. Oh, wear a cologne. Put on a rubber. Rib. I'll get you a bunch. Oh, and some Popeyes, you know, for later. <laughs> no. Doyle, bad foreign guy. No, no, donkey. The tailgating party is in his ass. Let's crank up this show. Wait, what show? I said no band. Oh, the show. My dad's huge monster truck porn collection. Get this, the folks went bowling last night. He forgot to lock his closet. Your dad locks his closet? So I pull a total bond, sneak in, grab one. A little pre-party tit, gentlemen. Oh, slide over, bitch. You slide over, bitch. What are you calling bitch, bitch? Bitch, I'm calling you bitch, bitch. Girls, do I need to separate you? Okay, okay. Let's just batten down the hatch, because here comes the snatch. This is awesome. Hello there, cowboy. Time to saddle up. Is that a gun in your chap, Sheriff, or are you just looking to bone me? It looks like your sweet ass needs Brandon. Adam, you got this from your dad's closet? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that adds a whole new meaning to raw hide. Your dad's playing the wrong end of the flute. Yo, 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 pimp daddies! Murph the Surface here to represent, chilling with my dog to get tight with the honeys. <laughs> These are my new assless chaps. Oh, cool. Come smoke. Yo, this one's a classic. Party's blazing. Wall to wall losers. What you boys watching? Uh, do those chaps come off easy? Uh, nothing. Uh, bro, that's a dick flick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is on. Why don't you grab onto my saddle horn? Discovery Channel. 
And what are they discovering? That some guy shoved the football up their ass? Well, that's a high, hard one. Hey, hey, where are you going anyway? To get laid. By a girl. You know, I'm not really into the whole orgy with my gay brother vibe, but thanks. I don't believe I got your name, cowboy. They call me the Rump Wrangler. Oh. Hey, the male pig has a corkscrew-shaped penis, which he slowly winds into the female piggy. You know, I don't understand. Free booze, free food, free booze. Nothing. Don't they ask our teenagers? Mobilize! We've got it coming! I got the tunes. I got the tunes. Boom, 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 boom. Wait up, wait up. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, you don't have to go. You can stay. Oh, that's okay. <sighs> Big crowds kind of make me claustrophobic. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Fire Marshal was gonna shut us down. But he felt sorry for us. <sighs> well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> you look... Different tonight. Different? Really? Um, different how? Different bad? Different good? Different creepy? Uh, good different. Yeah, different good. Um, about the spring fling. I mean, if the offer still stands and you haven't asked anyone yet, I was kind of wondering if you... I'd love to. Really? Really? You would? But then it's a... It's a... It's a, uh, it's a working date. Cool, yeah. <laughs> um, well, good chat. Yeah. So, Danny, how was your weekend? Great, Father. I read the last Harry Potter book. It was magical. Reading? Can't go wrong there. And Chris? Oh, I just worked at the store. Delivered papers. Babysat my kid brother. The usual, you know. The usual? Yeah. The usual. That's interesting. Because as usual, I was at the store today doing inventory. And much to my amazement, a considerable amount of stock was missing and not paid for. Now, I find that highly unusual. Well, Chris, care to explain yourself? I mean, were you feeding the homeless again, son? Is that why all my potato chips, party dip, and pot pies are missing? Or perhaps did the Lord Jesus himself drop by and turn all my alcohol into water? Father, you might also want to question Chris about the hardcore man-on-man -man gay porn Uh, uh, well, you see, there was a, a... A party? Is that what there was, son? A bunch of underage kids running around willy-nilly through our house, no adult supervision, alcohol, condoms, game porn, sin! He wishes. You're grounded. I've already deducted the money from your bank account. I'll get it. Carl. Harry Potter, huh? I'm looking for Chris Hughes. You're looking at him. Chris. I'm sorry to inform you that your parents are dead. <laughs> I was just wishing that. Excuse me? Hate to break it to you, but everybody's breathing here. Thanks for stopping by and creeping me out, though. I, I... Your biological parents, Chris. There was an accident. I don't, I, I, I never met them. They're good people, decent, hardworking. I was their lawyer, Hunt, Michael. Mike Hunt. I prefer Michael. I'm so sorry for your loss, Chris. There'll be a reading of the will in Los Angeles three days hence, and my law firm will provide you with two airline tickets. Chris, loss is never easy. 
I'm reminded of when the supergroup Wham broke up. I was devastated. Sweetie, we love you very much. We tried to give you a better life. You did. You have. It's just, I guess I never really thought about them or who they were. They weren't church-going folk. What does that mean? Son, your, your parents were, uh, th they were... Tell him, Carl. Tell me, Carl. Your mother was a stripper, and, and your father was a bouncer in the club where she shook her money tree. Club Pussy Whipped. I think that's what it was called. Isn't that right, Carl? Yeah. My parents worked at a club called Pussy Whipped? Pussy Whipped, dear. It's French. Your mother's right. Pussy is the correct pronunciation. We didn't want to tell you for fear you would have low self-esteem issues. I mean, after all, with your biological mother being a stripper, and practically a prostitute, and your biological father having no more ambition than, than to be a bouncer... It's spring break. You wouldn't miss school. We want you to be there for the reading of the will. Your father has agreed to postpone your being grounded. It's the Christian thing to do. But I didn't know them. I mean, you're my parents. Yes, dear, but we're not dead. They are. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, we're lost. Move it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chris Hughes? Present. I'm Brooks. Mr. Hunt sent me to retrieve you and your travel companion. You got any other baggage? My dad's a gay alcoholic porn freak. Sweet ride! Yo, Brooks. Do you know Ice Cube? How about Destiny's Children? Get in! Let's get down to business. Chris, your biological parents had only one child. That they know of. They provided you with a future and a nest egg. Great, they left you with a G-string and a pole. Are you familiar with the adult magazine, Heaven? Your mother showed her beaver in heaven? Oh, I fist kebab to that magazine. I apologize for Adam. He's the village idiot. Any village, just pick one. Well, nevertheless, he is correct. Your mother did indeed pose for the magazine. Oh, dude, you're gonna be in therapy for, like, ever if you find out you gave yourself a dick wax while looking at your mother. Dude, how wrong is that? Did my old man sell my mom into prostitution? Was she a junkie crack whore forced to peddle her flesh to put food on the table and smack in her pipe? What? <laughs> Even though I didn't know my white trash parents, I take full responsibility for their debt. What's the damage? Close to $87 million. Fair enough. I mean, I have a paper route. I have money saved from working at my parents' grocery store. I could work out some sort of payment plan. Did you just say they left me in debt $87 million? No, no, no. They left you $87 million to spend. But that's just the available cash. The real jewel in the empire is the magazine. What magazine? Oh, yeah. Heaven. Chris, <laughs> your father was Peter Mac. Peter Mac? As in Peter Mac, the founder and publisher of the entire Heaven Empire? Yes, that Peter Mac. That means your mother was... Honey Mac. As in the creamiest yayas on the planet, angel of the decade, <laughs> Mac? That would be Chris's mother. Huh? I'm, I'm so confused. What does all this mean? Chris, you are the sole owner and publisher of the Heaven Empire. Oh, well, that's, a, that's not possible. I'm just a kid. <laughs> just a kid with a rather large bank account, which my law firm would be very happy to continue to administer at your father's request. Administer away? <laughs> uh, now, Chris, I have some paperwork for you to sign. Oh, oh. 
Not so fast. Not so fast. Uh, we're not signing anything until we have a lawyer look over it. I am a lawyer. Well, excellent. Chris, go ahead and sign. Right away, do it. Are you ready to go home, sir? To Xenia? No. Better. The mansion. Where the naked angels frolic? Hey, hey, wipe your mouth. Chris, prepare to get your freak on. Freak on! I want to get my freak on. Freak on! Young Mr. Hughes just signed. Who is this? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Hold my finger. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> That's what a millionaire smells like. Party like a rock star, kick a little ass. Oh, oh. your daddy and you have eyes like your mother oh god bless their souls you knew my parents oh very well <laughs> yes miss harding was your father's personal secretary for 15 party filled years <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but there, there's no time for chit chat i have several items that need your immediate attention sir After you, sir. No, I insist, sir. <laughs> Boys. Hi, Chris. Hey, baby. <laughs> well, we're most likely dead. And it's uh, it's important to us that you understand that we've always loved and adored you. And the only reason we gave you up for adoption is because we didn't have any money. I mean, your your mother was a stripper. And... <laughs> Exotic dancer with an emphasis on tap and some jazz. <laughs> Me, I was just a bouncer trying to scrape uh, enough money through life. No, no, he always had his eye turns up for management. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we uh, we found you a great home with with loving, caring, straight laced people. Yeah, your new mom won't be showing her plumbing to the whole world. Son, I'm a moron, and I, I made millions, and I turned those millions into a billion-dollar empire. You, Chris, on the other hand, you're you're smart, huh? uh, you're uh, you're talented, <laughs> you're charming, you're a natural-born leader. <sighs> and son, the sky's the limit with what you'll turn this legacy into. And remember, sweetheart, when going down on a lady, always isolate the little man in the boat. <laughs> Kisses. 
Those are my parents? How awesome is that? Which one of you fine young men is Chris? Me? Come to my arms, my beamish boy! Danger, Will Robinson! Danger, pedophile alert! Pedophile alert! Let me look at you! It's uncanny. It's like having a mirror into the soul. Can, can I help you? Oh, tis I, little one, that has been left alone in a cruel world to help you. Look upon me as your spirit guide. Call upon me for anything, count upon me for everything. I am Duncan Mack, your father Peter's brother. Please, call me Donkey. My Uncle Donkey. <laughs> I have an uncle. Adam, Adam, look. I have a new uncle. Oh. Oh. When do we get to see the naked girl? Oh, we have a lot of catching up to do. But first, the press has been beating down our doors waiting for a statement from you. Never abuse the press, dear boy. They get far too much pleasure out of it. Your father taught me that. gentlemen, today marks a new birth for heaven. As the proverbial Mac wings have been passed on to their only child, Chris Hughes Mac. Mr. Mac, can we call you Mac? It's just Chris Hughes, no Mac. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the new king of the heaven empire, and more importantly, my nephew, Chris Hughes Mack. Chris, what do you see this whole five years ago? He's really good at 87 million dollars. Am I? Hello. <clears throat> Hi. Thank you all for coming out. Good night. Mr. Mack, are you old enough to buy the magazine? Hey, Chris. <laughs> Patty Landry, Entertainment Tomorrow. Oh, hi, Patty. Hi. The big question, does the newest, most eligible billionaire bachelor have a girlfriend? Girlfriend? Well, I... Brittany Van Horn! Brittany Van Horn? Brittany Van Horn. Well, she's one lucky girl. <laughs> well, speaking of lucky girls, let me introduce to you this month's centerfold, an angel by any other name, Miss Alyssa Bauer. As this month's angel, I can assure you that Chris will be in very capable hands. Oh, and don't forget, this month's issue will be out this Monday. I'll see you when you see me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Please, thank you for coming. I've left several messages for Mr. Mike Cunt. I am starting to worry. I wouldn't worry about it. Danny, pass country squash, will you? Holy fuck! Danny, what did you just say? Mary, mother of Christ! So, young Chris Hughes Mack, raised right here in the heartland of Xenia, mounts the throne, becoming king of the greatest pornography empire on the planet, if not the world. Oh, this Local can't be good. Mack, what in Mac God's Mac name? Satan be thy name! The adopted son of local grocers, Carl and Beverly Hughes. I, I, I need a, a drink. Honey, you don't drink. <sighs> You're right, maybe I just need an aspirin for this throbbing, irritating pain. <sighs> We're the only losers working over spring break. We're working overtime for the kids. We are the kids. Okay, fine. You know what? Forget about it. I don't need you. I will print the damn paper myself. You know what? Go ahead. Just go. Go party. Go drink. Go 
fornicate. But let me remind you of this. Okay, no high school lame student has ever just woken up one day and suddenly become a millionaire, okay? Xenia High School senior Chris Hughes Mack inherited a whopping 87 million American dollars today when he learned that he was the biological son of Honey Mack. Check you out, Fox Soul Brother. <laughs> Tonight is your night. You're the boss. Anything you need, you just ask for it. Brittany Van Horn? It's <laughs> <laughs> just so exciting. He's worth like billions, and I'm his girlfriend. We've been on and off again since like the third grade. I can't believe he said your name on television. That's huge. You're so lucky. Duh. Tell me about it. We're gonna get married. I'm gonna get the hell out of this two-bit no-mall town. <sighs> Frank is such a cutie pie. Chris. What? His name is Chris? Your future husband's name is Chris. Cute. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't like that matters. <laughs> How's it feel? Like leaning back too far in a chair? You know, if you are anything like your father, you would be just fine. Yeah. I just wish I would have known him. Mm. He was smooth as silk. You know, he never met a no, he couldn't make a yes. I mean, he was the one who got me to take off all my clothes. Oh, good old dad. So, Angel of the Month, your folks proud of you for a... Uh... Dropping trowel? <laughs> Something like that. You know, they're okay with it. Plus, it's artistic nudes. You know, not those lame beaver shots. You see, most of the mags, they just want you all oiled up. You know, and spread wide eagle. Maybe going down on some girl. Which is cool and all. But where's the art in it? Can you excuse me? One second. I have to use the men's room. Excuse me. Alyssa! Mm -hmm. Including Ricky Martin. I've jerked off your pictures so many times that my blisters have blisters, and I just didn't say that out loud, did I? It's okay. I've heard it all before. You must have got my letters. You must have got my letters. Oh, this? This isn't real. It's a new bad. Yeah, I, I could score you one. Really? No, thank you. You know, we got a lot in common turn ons. Sunsets, long walks on the beach, men who ride motorcycles. You're a Pisces. I'm a Leo. You were a high school cheerleader. I currently attend high school. Name's Adam, but my posse calls me. Douchebag! <laughs> I need to talk to you. Chris? Hi. I'm your February angel. Heather. Chris, buddy! Hell. Oh. You two aren't friends, are you? I need to talk to you now. <gasps> Thing came up. Oh, come on, Mr. Chairman. Are you ready for your inaugural shake your booty dance? <laughs> I'm the son of Peter Mac. My booty was born ready to shake. Oh, well, let's go. It's just bad luck. Now, had they died before he was 18, the estate would have automatically gone into conservatorship with you as the head trustee. He's dreadful. Just thinking about it puts me into a coma. I mean, where the hell is Xenia, Ohio, anyway? Oh, it's near Columbus. I know where it is. 
spent 10 years living under the shadow of my idiot brother. Now everything's in the hands of his idiot child. I don't know how long I can keep up this unky dunky routine until I break his head. Well, the important thing here is to make sure that he does not catch wind of your fancy math with the books. Now, not for nothing, but I do not wish to go to the big house for embezzlement. Hold it! Hold it! Consuelo! Hold it! Whatever. All right, nobody, I repeat, nobody is going to jail. Especially not me. If anybody has to go to jail, it will be you. So put this on your legal post-its. Never mention embezzlement again. Uh, no problem. Right. Let's just focus on trying to keep it together for a few weeks, huh? Now, I can convene... Nice one. I can convene the board of directors the minute he misses the issue's deadline. Then, the entire empire is all ours. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! I spoke to your mother this morning. How's she doing? Is she currently medicated? No. Why? Never mind. I guess everybody in Xenia, Ohio, is a little batty over this whole incident. She's concerned that all this pressure will get to you. Pressure? <sighs> you have next month's issue to get to print. Not to mention prepping for the next board of directors meeting. Mm. And let's see. The real estate approvals. And merger and acquisition discussions. And the corporate strategy. Okay, can't you do all that? I'd love to. Help you. Out, but it's... It's not my company... Chris, it's yours. I am simply here to smooth the transition to you. Does Chris get to pick the nudie girls? Of course. To run heaven is to be the final say in who becomes an angel. Oh, I love this job already. Good, because today I thought we could begin with the financial quotient reviews. Financial quotient reviews? I find rolling up my sleeves and digging in to be extremely gratifying. There is a reporter on the phone calling from Xenia Porcupine. Oh, Kate. Psycho lesbo. Hello, Kate. Chris, I saw it on the news. Everybody saw it on the news. I know, it still hasn't hit me yet. Chris, um, I hope you'll grant the Porcupine an exclusive. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, I, um, I guess I'll see you in a couple days then. The Spring Flame. I wouldn't miss it. Hi. Good morning, morning, boys. Oh, um, guess what? My mom went out and spring for me to get a new dress. <laughs> I really hope you like it. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Chris? What are you doing here? Hello? <laughs> we live here. Well, for a few months at least. See, all the angels live at the mansion while promoting the magazine. Oh. Chris, your dad was a fucking Einstein. <laughs> Would you guys like to come out with us to the pool? A refreshing dip in the grotto? Why, yes! No, we can't. Mm. We have to work. Work? But you're the big boss. Well, I am. Um... Couldn't we do this later? Well, now the issue has to get to print, and you have a lot of catching up to do. But you are the big boss. It's your decision. Chris, might I conference with you for a moment? Excuse us. <laughs> do... Hot chicks who seemingly have no issues with nudity want to hang out with us. Dude, this is our chance to climb the pussy high dive. Uncle Donkey! Time for a lunch break. Books and charts are going to have to wait. By order of the big boss. Mm -hmm. Sit to myself, I'm a man, got a pocket full of money. Shirts in my mouth, case my breath is kind of fun. Yeah, I saw her hot steam right out of me. I she kind of looked like a chick that takes a baby over time to leave. Need a Mac diggity daddy, take me out in his caddy. We can kick it till the brickety brickety break it on. I said it sounds like fun, but I ain't with it. But if you're a good boy, I just might let you uh -uh. hold my hand because I ain't about the wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. I hope you understand that. I don't want Britney tonight, and Selma, yeah, she's alright. I'm super <laughs> <and> she don't <laughs> I am so glad that I've gotten to spend time getting to know you. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I'm stoked your folks died. In my story book, in my story book, this is my story book. Mind if I come in? 
Yes, yes, I do. Can you please leave? <laughs> Can I offer you something to drink? Why, Mr. Bond, aren't we a little too young to drink? Age has no bearing on style, Money Penny. crazy. I mean, you're just a kid, and now you... Wait, 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 wait. I'm not a kid. I'm a man. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. But you know, no matter how old someone is, this kind of change in lifestyle can be pretty jarring. Well, I guess I'll try my hardest. Getting used to being a multi-millionaire. If you ever need anybody to talk to, I just want you to know that I am always here. By talking, you mean... Whoa, you are barking up the wrong tree, cowboy. Look, I'm a rich 18-year-old virgin. That makes me grade A prime USDA beefcake. We're talking zero chance of mad cow disease, babe. Well, it is not gonna happen, Rico Suave. You are a great guy. And there's some great girl out there for you. I mean, me? I'm just a fantasy. You need to hold out for the right girl. Can we snuggle? Sure. Come on. <sighs> Naked. What did I just tell you? Give me the remote control. Turn the back. Turn. I was wondering when you'd show up, big boy. Then tonight's your lucky night. Adam. You surprised me. I saw the way you eyed me at the club. Maybe it's time we bump uglies. That's really sweet. I'm overwhelmed. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or at the very least, you can stalk someone enough until they panic and give it up? Oh. Where's Chris? Who knows? Who cares? Tonight's about us. Una noche de la mon. I saw Titanic a bunch of times. I cried. Did you? Adam, if I gave you a good night kiss, would you tell me what Chris's favorite gifts might be? Totally. Yes. I think that's an excellent trade. Come on, then, before I change my mind. I think that's mine. Oh. I'm, so, I'm sorry. So how's it going? Like sucking an anaconda's dick? Where's your uncle? Thankfully, he's meeting with the board of directors on my behalf, buying me some time so I can head back to school. Wait a minute. You let Uncle Dunky go by himself? No. My cunt volunteered to go with him. Chris, uh, it's not my place to say anything, but um, your uncle and Hunt... Brooks, say whatever you want to say. They're a couple of scheming, bitch-ass, punk motherfucking thieves, okay? Duncan wants heaven for himself. He's just waiting for you to fuck it up, little man. Brooks, you're wrong. This is my uncle we're talking about. I mean, my father trusted him, and I see no reason why I shouldn't. Yeah, well, you're the boss. Yeah, I am. And don't you forget that. 
Hey, Chris. Are you? Indecent. I bought you a little present. Oh. Well, that's uh, totally cool of you. I didn't get you anything. It's okay. You will. Well, I hope you like it. Well, well, uh, you don't see this every day. I do. Oh, Chris. Oh, what? what are you doing? Getting ready to show you how to use your cherry picker. Um, let's watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Stan. Get your man thing out and let's get down to business. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Oh. You're gonna meet your parents first. Ooh. Kinky. Me likey. You're not allergic to anything, are you? What? Why, 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 why would you ask that? I like to use a lot of props. <laughs> come to mama. Oh. did you do? What do you think I did? You should be ashamed of yourself. He is just a boy. Yeah, a boy worth a billion dollars. Don't tell me you both haven't thought about it. I cannot believe you've had sex with him. I mean, especially with his... his condition. 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 What? Condition. Well, well it's got it, uh, herpes back warts, and crabs uh, anal hair, and um, conjunctivitis, um, infantigo, um, hepatitis, ringworms, uh, 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 and pink eye. Pink eye. Gross. Actually, nothing happened. He passed out on me, thank God. Look, if he asks for me, tell him I've, um... You know what? Why don't you just go, okay? Yeah, and we'll... We'll take care of it. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, thank you. You guys are the best. Ring the my phone. Ring the way. Ring the phone. Ring the ling loo. Beverly, remember, when Chris gets home, no special treatment. He's still grounded. Yes, dear. We should consider cutting his allowance. That'll teach him a lesson. you could make it. Hi! I didn't know you were gonna be here. Hi. Hi. Bonjour. Guten Tagen. You're looking fine. You're looking hot. What up, biatch? The magazine looks, um, great. You know, I was thinking maybe I could, uh, help you out with it when we get married. Hi, Quinn. I love you so much. You're so cute. Chris, I love going to Mexico with you. <laughs> oh, Chris, I'm so glad we're not cousins anymore. Hi. Um, I was, uh, so... <laughs> You're lucky. You're, you look great. <laughs> love, love the uh, corsages. Yeah. Did you know uh, cor corsage is um, French? Okay, well, don't forget to have your pictures taken. Go porcupines! <laughs> Pricks. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> <laughs> Two.
Check out the football field. You're not going to believe it. Oh, also, since I have your attention, my name's Murphy. Who cares? And I've pretty much gone to school with all of you since elementary school. And I thought tonight might be a good time to get to know each other. Eat me. Finally. Slow. What's up, Chris? Good to see you, bro. Thanks for the drive by, scrotum pole. Hey, Chris. You're looking sizzling. Oh, tell me something I don't know. Mm. Did you keep that? I've been thinking about you ever since you said my name on national television. Do you really think of me as your girlfriend? Well, did I stutter when I said it? just beyond blowing off deadlines. Hey, Katie. It's all good to be back in my crib, keeping it real with my peeps. How does it feel to be a smut peddler? New prince of porn. Artistic nudes. <laughs> and you want to know something? Feels pretty damn good. <laughs> well, maybe with all of your uh, money, you can buy yourself some courtesy and some common sense. OK, what's with the tood, Katie? Oh, gee, I don't know. Asshole. <laughs> You were supposed to be your date tonight. Smooth move, Mr. Glacius. Chris wants to dance with women who have dumps like a truck. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Chris wants the other angels to join us. Tremendous idea. Ladies, Chris and I would like you to join us on the dance floor to help celebrate our impending nuptials. Oh, and feel free to bring your little black buddy. Oh, how about I feel free to hang my foot out of your ass? Thank you, Jesus. Get up off the floor, son. Have you lost your marbles and your mind? <laughs> oh, hi, boys. I'll be out in a minute. Um, 
No problem. And you would be... Naked, wet, and soapy. <laughs> Danny, avert your eyes, son. Get out, get out. Danny, come on, stop looking, come on. This is not for you. Sorry, uh, miss. May, now, if you don't mind... Oh, of course, of course. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, there's towels there if you should need them. And a uh, hairdryer there, should you need that. Fine. Look, I got in last night. They needed a place to crash, so I said they could stay here. Shoot me for being kind. Son, I'm just glad you're home, safe and sound. Now maybe we can put all this pornography business behind us and start all over. So, you're back to being grounded. <laughs> Anyone for panic attacks? Grounded? Sometimes you both are so very, very xenia. Oh, good morning, girls. Good, good morning. morning. What can I make you? Would you like some bacon and cheese omelets? Honey, why don't you ease off on the sleepy time now that your flu is over? Oh, Carl, honey, stop screwing like a one-legged Eskimo in a heat wave and you'll earn the right to criticize. <gasps> Angels, time to go. I'll drop you off at the airport on the way to school. Mr. Mack, the car is ready when you are. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute here. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you all doing in my house? And since when in the hell were you Mr. Mac? Okay, this is Brooks. He works for me. And I was born a Mac. Right on. What? Hey! <coughs> this package came from the board of directors, and it is marked urgent. Yes, about the upcoming issue. It's very important. I'll make sure he gets it. I prefer to give it to him myself. Young Chrissy will get his package. I promise you. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you in class. Can your little Brittany Whitney get some cashy-washy? Working on your big words, Brittany? Thanks, <laughs> Pookums. You promised a school paper, an interview, this afternoon, okay? Interview, right, this afternoon? No, 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 no good, how about next Tuesday? Chris, I recognize that reliability isn't exactly your middle name, but um, I have a paper to run here, deadlines. Katie, I'd like to help, really, but certainly you can appreciate that while you have a subscriber base of, what, 300 free readers, and I have, well, you do the math, so today's a no-go. But I'll tell you what, I'll have my PR firm shoot over a couple signed photos, I'm wearing a turtleneck, you know what? You're pathetic. What was I thinking? You tell Mr. Mack to forget about the interview. Oh, and also, he's fired from the newspaper. Wait, what'd she say? You're fired. Fired, that's funny. Katie, I could buy your crappy paper. I could buy this town, this school. I could buy you. You're wrong. I think I'm the only thing around here that's probably not for sale. And for the record, I haven't been Katie since sixth grade when you kissed me on the seesaw. It's Kate. Ah! That went well. Yeah. I mean, what is infinity after all? We don't really know, but if you teach a fraction and divide it into the decimal of the subset... Chris! <laughs> My parents will be out of town tomorrow night. Why don't you come over and check out my new tan lines? I'll pencil you in. So therefore, if we take a fraction of the number and divide it into quarters, Mr. Hughes? Beats me. Algebra's never really been my thing. See, I'm a lover, not a calculator. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, this is important. Perhaps you might want to apply yourself here. You'll find algebra to be an important part of any business. I agree. That's why I pays the people to know it. <laughs> Me, I'm a big picture guy. Leave the details to the math club goobs. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hughes, I understand that your life has undergone some significant changes, but without an education, son, the ability to really succeed in this world is, is greatly hampered. Define success. I'm worth a half a billion dollars. Yes. I'm chairman of one of the largest media conglomerates on the planet. Yeah. All without passing your lousy algebra class. Yeah. I'm set for life. Yeah. That's success. Yeah. Oh, time.
Time's up. Good lecture, though. And by the way, I noticed your subscription to Heaven was getting ready to lapse. Next year's on me. <laughs> Can I get some Washingtons, Franklins, and Nixons? Jane, magazines want to do a feature on you. Unless it's a cover story, I'll pass. <sighs> well, Miss Harding's left a couple of messages. She says it's urgent. Miss Harding doesn't tell me what's urgent. I tell Miss Harding what's urgent. Besides, it's all lame paperwork bullshit anyway. Uncle Dunky or Mike Conk could deal with it. Next. Uh, your mother, not the dead one, but the one loving the sleepy time, her birthday's today. Right. Organize a dinner, send flowers, get a present. A little something something, make it personal. Done and done. Mary and Joseph, what is this? Dad, relax. It's on me, okay? Chris, that is absolutely unacceptable. Money does not grow on trees. Whoa, wait up, Carly. If he wants to pay, let him. Thanks, Mom. Your credit card no good. Bad credit. <laughs> That's impossible. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> you are flat ass broke here. Who'll pay for meal? Okay, this is a mistake. Run it again. Here, I, I, I will. <laughs> this one's on Dad. Thanks, Dad. Okay, someone is gonna get fired for this. Well, it's not gonna be me. I'm your dad. Shit! I still have to get changed before I see Brittany tonight. Watch your language. Happy birthday, Mom. Ooh, look at you, little man. Looking good. Okay. Looking good. All right. Well, show what a man you are. Huh? All right. Those are magnums. Don't lose yourself in there. is a chance to come, <clears throat> come anytime, any place. Great. What if you got the Sucker. Oh. I have the whole place set up. This is going to be a night that neither one of us will ever forget. And I am just so glad it's with you. So I think 
Like you know everyone. So I figured we'd take a few preliminary photos here and then I guess she'll fly me out to Los Angeles for my main centerfold spread. Do I need an agent? Wait, this is all about your modeling career? No, silly. Modeling leads to acting. And acting leads to being on a game show. I gotta go. What about my photo shoot? Before you listen to this song, Fix it! If you don't fix it, start looking for another job! Chris, I need to talk to you, man. Morons! I am dealing with complete morons. Apparently, next month's issue has been scrapped. It's not gonna make it to the stands on time. Someone forgot to get their shit together and authorize all the photographic and editorial content. I was thinking a lot about us. You know, those assholes are blaming me. Wh wh whatever it is, I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. They froze my accounts, Dingleberry. I don't have any access to any of my money. I could lose everything. Would that be so bad? I mean, a few weeks ago, you didn't have any of it. What if it's OK? You, me, Scooter, Murphy, even Doyle. We had some good times. I'm on the verge of losing a major financial empire. And you're here reminiscing about mediocrity? See, that's the difference between you and me. You see, I see the big picture. You don't see any picture. You really are an asshole. Chris, over here. I saved you a seat next to me. I'll be right there, OK? No, no, you better hurry up. I don't want to deprive you of your hard-earned popularity. Here's the new Hudson. <laughs> I've left messages for my uncle repeatedly, OK? Look, I don't give a shit. Find him. It's my company, all right? It's mine. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Mr. Hughes, he's he, he gonna have to call you back. He, he in a big, big meeting discussing merging his big ass with my foot. Oh, no deal, no deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is one of those fancy new little digital phones, isn't it, huh? Whoops. Piss all over your face, you fat. I want to get up, Chris. Someone pissing on your face is never pleasant. Trust me. Ah! Oh. Yeah, for a better fight. Oh. Where you helicopter now, huh? Oh. Where you helicopter now, bitch? Chris, don't be stupid, okay? Just lie there. Chris, you get up this second and kick Hudson's ass. You're embarrassing me. Shut up, Brittany. Yeah, shut up, Brittany. Get up, dick lick, huh? Get up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Man, is this oh. pissant trying oh. to clown you? As a matter of fact, he was. Ow! Oh. Stop it, you're breaking my hand, man. You see, Mr. Mac is a good friend of mine. So like Elliot Ness, he's untouchable. Mm. Now, if I hear that you even look at mm. Mr. Mac again, I'm going to come into your house late at night while you are sleeping, reach into your satin pink panties, rip off your little dick, and fuck you with it. Are we clear? Good talking, bitches. Mommy! Oh. Make a hole, white people. Chris! Not now, Brittany. Ah, young Chris. Just a spunky young lad we were hoping to see. Uncle Donkey, Mike Hunt, what are you two doing here? A hasty trip. An emergency board meeting. We need your signature. They have asked me to step in as chairman. But you can't. I'm already chairman. Technically, Chris, you're not anymore. Technically, my ass. This is my company. No. This is my company now, as it was always meant to be. You are a teenager. Now, how shall I say this? Whose mommy and daddy did not love him quite enough, got rid of him, and out of foolish guilt, left you a company over which you were not equipped to preside. Party's over, dude. Who gives a royal shit? I don't care. Run the damn company. I'll spend my money. Oh, about the money. <laughs> the stipulation in the will stipulates 
that the money and assets are yours as long as you're running the company, which clearly as of now, you are not. I'm sorry, Cinderfella, back to your pumpkin. Though, from the looks of it, going from the mansion to Mayberry is a little like leaving the penthouse without an elevator. Oh, well, it's too bad. So sad. Mm-hmm. But now, if you'll excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. That's it? Do you want a hug? Oh, no, wait, wait. Alyssa. Alyssa wanted me to say that she's very disappointed in you. Get the hell out of my house. Brooks, to the plane. Hey, hey. I left you a little something in your room. Your parents wanted you to have it someday. Keep it real, little man. I'll remember you most of all, Scarecrow. And I'll miss you too, Dorothy. <laughs> Miss Daisy's getting impatient. Young Chris Hughes, formerly Chris Hughes Mack of Xenia, Ohio, has lost his lofty wings of flight. The recently anointed and now former heir to the Heaven Empire has been given a vote of no confidence by the board of directors, thus ending his short-lived reign. Sources tell us it was a unanimous Trade vote places of with no me. Please. You say life has cut you out in a word complicated, but this time you'll find out that it's all overrated. Son, the sky's the limit with what you'll turn this legacy into. Be careful what you wish for by Kate Reeves. Once upon a time, they used to say, what a nice boy. And it was true. He represents the best of Xenia, also true. If you had to have just one friend, it should be him, true again. He's smart, sweet, and funny, and will make some girl very happy. Truer words never spoken. I know because I grew up in Xenia wishing that I would be that girl. But then one day something happened. On his journey to fame and fortune, Chris Hughes left his road littered with the broken hearts of those who loved him. And then the process showed that and the best of people can hide the worst of man. It doesn't get any better as you read it. Well written. Nicely done. It's late. Why are you here? I was just in the neighborhood. <laughs> So, um, when does the article run? It doesn't. I, um, I reread it. Boy meets money, boy loses money. Boy becomes social outcast, hoping old friends will remember him. I think it's pretty played out. OK. 
Kate, look, I know I've been a jerk to you. And I have been for a long time. But the thing is, I waited my whole life for something magical to happen. And when it did, I lost sight that my life was already full of really special people. A family who loves me. Friends that are there for me. And you. Me. For as long as I can remember, you've been sniffing Brittany Van Horn's grass. I lack clarity to see that someone wonderful was already in my life. I'm sorry, Kate. For everything, I'm sorry. Now, I don't know if your answer will be yes, but I really need your help. I need your double Ds. No, no, not, not those. <laughs> those are nice. If, if this has anything to do with your trashy porno magazine, the answer's no. Now, before you blow me off, think about it. Heaven's subscription base is huge. Illiterate, horny men. Who better to be exposed to the brilliant ravings of Kate Reeves? Award-winning Kate Reeves. Award-winning, yes, yes. Yeah. What's in it for me, Mac? Um, platform for your issues, your concerns, your stand on feminism, and it's, um, Hughes, not Mac. Does this mean you're not mad at me anymore, or you are mad and just have a weird way of expressing... Binger, binger, blunt, bob, boker, bomb, bong, bo, but it's cash. She would do was double, double, percolator, indo, fatty, 420, ganja, grass, green day, happy, we harsh in the buzz, head, hemp, herbalizer, theater, cooch, implemented destruction, jiba, jones, and kind, buck, leaf, lumber, Mary Jane, Maui, wire, one, cater, peace, printer, pot, pool, two, reefer, roach, swag, shit, shake, shit, skunk, smart, spinach, plus deep, weed, stole, Mikey, Mike, make it, make it, walk in the dog. <laughs> Chronic, you're such a lame ass. No, no, it was really good. Not even a real stoner could have pulled that off. Thanks, man. I take my marijuana burbies seriously. What are you doing here? Yeah. I came by to. Um... I came by to apologize. Look, I was so concerned about finding an identity and wanting to be remembered for something in high school, and I forgot the most important thing. It's not what you're remembered for, but who remembers you? And I don't want any of you guys to forget me, because I'll never forget you. Come here, buddy. <laughs> who is your daddy? But I do know both of you taught me about owning up to my responsibilities. You already are, son. <laughs> Get in here to the future owner of the store. We'll be there. Angel? We've got a mission.
And thus, with our diversification into film, television, and of course, the internet, the new millennium for heaven, under my stewardship, looks brighter than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? I have one. My question, Uncle Dunkey, is whether or not you've made it known to the board your plan to sell off the Heaven Empire, bit by tiny bit, at insider prices. That is absolutely not true. Security. According to this documentation, the only liar with the bold face seems to be you. But I'm curious, Uncle Donkey. Just how long have you been embezzling from this corporation? Embezzling? Embezzling! Embezzling! That's just an outrage. Boy, you are way out of line, and you do not have the floor for these ridiculous and false accusations. Whoa. I'm yielding the floor to young Mr. Hughes. Miss Hardy, Betsy, sweetheart, only a majority stockholder, which I happen to be, can even be on the floor in order to yield the floor during a board of directors meeting. You should have read the will a little more closely, Dunky, darling. Your brother left me a shitload of stock. You still need a second. I'll second it. Oh. Don't tell me, please. My brother made you a majority stockholder. Donkey, I could retire off the stock he left me. But if I did, there'd be no one to keep tabs on Mike Hunt in your ass. All right, eyes front, people. This little freak show is a waste of your valuable time. It is now my sad duty to inform you that your novice publisher, Mr. Hughes, has egregiously ignored his responsibilities. The result being that for the first time in its history, Heaven Magazine will miss its publishing date. Instead, loss of subscribers, angry advertisers, and zero profit. That's what I want to talk about. Technically, according to our bylaws, anyone wishing to address the board of directors must file a petition in triplicate to speak. Now, additionally, 100 signatures is required just to be considered. It looks to me to be 100 signatures. Don't it, bitch? Oh, look at that. Woo! Got him. 100 signatures. Right here. I still have the floor. Duncan. On behalf of the board of directors, please sit down. I haven't cast my vote yet. Let the boy talk. What do you have to say for yourself? <clears throat> Hello. You all know I inherited the Heaven Corporation. My father never missed a deadline, and neither will I. Ladies? What the hell is going on? Enjoy reading this month's issue of Heaven. We had a lot of fun putting it together. Yes, the look is new and fresh, but so am I. With the inaugural issue, as of today, we are right on time for the marketplace and under budget, which spells profit. Oh. Order! Order! Hey, hey, I've had about enough out of Mike Cunt. <laughs> All in favor of reinstating my man Chris as the chairman of heaven. Can I get a what? 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 <laughs> As my first official act, I would like to appoint Miss Betsy Harding and Mr. Andy Brooks to see over the editorial staff. Until I graduate college, heaven is in their hands. So, let's get our freak on! Like me, has 